You must know this wound will kill you! Save yourself! Save that you'll become a demon! I doubt any words exist that describe exactly how I felt. However, your fate now is death. A disagreeable conclusion for you, no doubt. So now that you're up to date with the Demon Moons and have a newfound respect for the Demon King of Pop and his backup dancers, let's list some interesting facts about them, shall we? Let's see if you can take down a being like me. One of the 12 Kizuki. Hello V Nation, this is Kyle from Bar Studios TV, the who's, what's, where's, when's, and tens of anime. And today we will be looking at 10 facts about the demon moons of Demon Slayer. If you haven't seen Demon Slayer as yet, I'm issuing a spoiler alert. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? I do so love to see others in the throes of despair and agony. It's like a dream come true for me. Let's start off today's list with Lower Moon 1, Enmu. Enmu's name is made up of the kanji for to have a nightmare and dream vision. Go to sleep, dear child. This is a callback to Enmu's dream-inducing abilities, as we've come to see many times in the end. Go to sleep. So up next, we have Rokuro. <laughs> I can still be of use to you. If you could just give me a little bit of time, I swear you won't regret it. His name contains the kanji for six, which could be a reference to his ultimate fate, being the six demons of all the lower ranks to die on screen. That's rough, my dude. Really wanted to see your powers, though. It is not for you to refute. And yet you try to give me instructions. You deserve to die for that. All right, next up on the list, we have a side quest demon. Lower Moon 2, Hyro. Hyro used to collect the Demon Slayer's Nichirin blades as trophies after he's killed them. Not unforeseen with demons. If you don't know who Hyro is, it would be best for you to watch my video on the Lower Moon where I give a little bit more detail on who he was. So we can just move on for now. As for you, I'll tell you your role. It is to relinquish your younger sister to me and disappear. It's time for us to look at a fact from our favorite emo kid, Rui. Rui's name means accumulate, short and sweet, just the way I like it. You have no chance against me. Up next on the list is Kyogai. Have you reached your limit? No, sir. I can go on. Ah! Uh! Kyogai's blood demon art is similar to that of the new upper rank moon 4, Nakimi. Albeit, her own abilities do surpass his own. <laughs> similar to Nakimi, Kyogai uses a musical instrument for his blood demon art and was given his epeth due to it. Maybe they share some sort of history together when they were humans? After all, both of them seem a little alike, but that's just speculating, so we can move on. Did you really think? My blood demon art was incredible. Let's start looking at the upper ranks. The first one on the list is Gyoko. Gyoko is the only upper rank, the other being Nakimi, who doesn't have a backstory mentioned in the manga regarding his past or his first meeting of Muzan. However, the official data book does provide a brief summary of his past as a human. You'd have to read that to find out. Up next is Doma. There's a little bit of inconsistency in the manga. Doma's hair is described as being very light, blonde, gold in color, or birch colored. However, on Shonen Jump's 2019 issue 29 and chapter 162's cover, his hair is pictured and described as being a silver color. Up next is a fact about Kaigaku. Kaigaku is the second known demon slayer to become a demon. The first being Kokushibo. Very interesting, isn't it? Since Kokushibo was the one who turned Kaigaku into a demon. And they're also both the only demons who still use their breathing styles as demons. Technique development. Destructive death compass needle. Now finally, we have a fact about Akaza. His technique, deployment ability, forms the shape of a snow flower, possibly due to the influence of his fiancée, whose name actually contains the kanji for snow. Akaza's English voice actor also has the role of Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> 
I bet you're really loving this video. Here's a great way that you can support us. Like, share, and subscribe to get notified of when we post new content. To actually get notified, click on that notification bell. Now back to the video. And for a number one fact, why not look at the upper moon one, Kokushibo. The relationship between Yurichi and Michikatsu parallels the mythology of the Shinto deities Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi. Amaterasu is the most sacred of the Shinto deities, the sun goddess. Tsukuyomi, the moon god, is her former husband and brother. After Tsukuyomi killed Yukemuchi, who was another Shinto deity, Amaterasu refused to ever look upon the moon again, moving to another part of the sky and beginning the cycle of day and night. Like the deities, the siblings also chosen different paths, one of a demon and the other of a demon slayer one of the sun and the other of the moon. So that's our video for today. Short, sweet, and spicy, just the way I like it. Didn't want to stretch this out too much because you guys are already pros at all these facts. If you haven't seen the previous videos that I made on the 12 demon moons, you should definitely watch it. The history of the 12 demon moons, the upper and the lower moons as well. And thank you guys so much again for joining and peace out, V Nation. Stay safe.